Good job getting your pig there. All right, you ready? Is Julie, that... tell Julie that she um she has to give you a Patreon or join the Discord. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. All right, we're going live on audio. Okay. Hello, welcome in everybody. It is. Friday, and that means it's time for the Mike and Audrey show. I'm Mike. I'm Audrey. That's Katie. This is Mr. Nose. All the cats are in here. And the dog. All the animals are in here. We are just full of just animals. Full. Oh, goodness. This cat yeah. has been so needy this week, I tell you what. Um, so, hey, so, I'm Mike. This is uh, this is Audrey. This is Nose. He lives on my shoulder. All uh, week. I know. All week this guy has. So, welcome in, everybody. It is a bright and shiny day here in North Carolina. Nice. Uh, Nice weather, like high of 79. It's uh, way yep. too much pollen. Oh, yes. My nose needs blown for sure. Yeah, we went out and about today. Um, and uh, yeah. I was just wearing like, a, I was wearing a mask outside because uh, if I didn't, like I could feel, mm -hmm. I could feel my whole thing getting congested. Yeah. I was pretty rough. Like, was it this last weekend? Must have been this weekend. Weekend and like last Monday week. and Tuesday yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And like finally Wednesday and Thursday, well... Thursday, really, I started like, good, I've kind of gotten used to this, I haven't left the house, that's been great. Uh, and then? <laughs> and everything cleared up, and then we went outside, and like, my eyes were itching, and my throat was like, <gasps> yeah. so, it's pollen season here. It sure is. Our cars are yellow. Yeah. Um, yep. So, hi. Our windshield wipers are getting a good workout. Oh, yeah. So, yep. yeah, so we've had a good time uh, today, Audrey's parents are in town, so we've been running around, so, wow, there's a whole lot of chat Oh, yeah, here. you have to... Ooh, we got to say hi to the folks who showed yep. up early. Uh, yeah. Russell and Ruth and Greg M and Becky and um, I knows you're not making <laughs> this easy, bud. I love you, but uh, Nigel and Gate. And if I miss you, sorry, it's because Nose is bumping my head around yeah. here. Uh, had a lot of chat. I'm gonna I missed today. That's too bad. I hope y'all are uh -huh. having a good chat beforehand. Uh, wow, let's sing. Well, hey, we're going nuts Corinne, up in you here. Say Corinne? Yep, Corinne's here. Okay. Um, or at least who <laughs> was a while ago whenever yeah. this was happening. I am I am still scrolling, y'all. Uh, Carol Brosman is here. Laura. Uh, our lovely mod, Laura. Yeah. Russell, Raven the Light. Blythe, uh, yeah. What? Blythe. I didn't see that one. I don't know. Top. I believe you. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm so far from the screen. Tom Morley and, uh, oh, Federico. I haven't seen you in a while there, Feta. How are you doing, yeah. man? You're doing all right down there. Yeah. Uh, Michelle here, uh, Denise, hello, hello, oh, Denise. Julie, my, uh, my sister's in the chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mm -hmm. Discord name. So you have to be a patron to join the Discord, Julie. Um, and you'll get, it'll automatically send you an invite. Uh, Michael Hansen, uh, who else is in here? Uh, David here, uh, Christine B. Haven, it just kind of jumped a little bit. Yeah, it did. Uh, Michelle, uh, Stacy, Jim, and, uh, Fudder Duds. I think we got most people. Welcome we miss in. you, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, hey, we Nose, tried. Can I, could I sit up? Would that be okay with you? I hope you can see the cat hair that is just floating through the air. Well, we don't talk about that. They're mad because I locked them out because I had to do an unboxing real quick of mm -hmm. some stuff that I will show y'all. Uh, you here. wanted to hurry up and get that done before. I wanted to get it done this. so I could show you the stuff because <laughs> yep. it's cool stuff. Buddy, what if you sat back here on the chair? Would that be okay with you? No. What are you doing with this leg? Look how long this leg. That's such a long leg, Angelina. <laughs> We go. Angelina's right leg. There you go. All right. There's a new place opened up <sighs> right near us. It's called McKay's. Mm. It's a, well, it used to be just a, a used bookstore, music. That's pretty much it, right? Do they do it? Uh, movies. And yeah, like used But now it's just stuff. like everything. It's it, kind of a lot of everything. They got like yeah. musical instruments there. Yeah. Uh, like you can go in there and buy a saxophone. Camera lens. Oh yeah, lots of camera equipment. They yeah. got some computers. They have that kind of stuff too. So. Yeah. Oh, hey. Mr. Goodman, thank you. Oh, well, thank you so much. Aww. Got yourself in the uh, and this is first two FC pens. Five dollars for nose to get some food. Thank you. Aw. Mr. Nose, you need food. Come back. <laughs> Where are your treats? Where are the treats? Um. Give him some food. Where are the treats? Here you go. He's right behind you. Right now, we give him, we give, we text treats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's M, no, it's, it's not. It's M-C-K-A-Y. Um, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a, um, this is a big, uh, used bookstore 
Well, actually, it's like a family-owned thing. Uh, but there's a huge one in Knoxville, which is always packed yes. to the gills. They keep adding new, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, parking uh, lots. Yeah, new parking lots because it's always so packed. And they just built a new one out near us, which is cool. So it Please, is... Stop eating it's, treats. <laughs> it's not working well because the cat, other cat is eating um, I got, cat treats. I got one of these. Cause like why not, right? Yeah. I, I didn't have a I didn't have a uh, a Grogu, so I went and got one of these. They have like walls of these things, family owned. Yeah, it's um yeah, yeah it was actually it was a married couple who had them, who had one, and then they got like I don't know, they got divorced or something. Yeah. And um, one went to North Carolina, and the other one stayed in uh, in Tennessee, Tennessee, and then I guess they just kind of like joined up, or one bought out the other, or whatever. Yeah. But, but they um, were very different. The ones were more small and confined in the ones that were in North Carolina and the ones in Tennessee are just massive. Like huge like a, warehouse type things. Like warehouse stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like Lidl? Uh, yeah, kind of like, kinda yeah. like Lidl. Yeah. yeah. Like the Lidl story. Yeah, so got myself a, got myself a little Grogu. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Gumman. I appreciate um, that. Um, Audrey got some, Audrey got some, uh, some BTS albums. There's and, some uh, albums I didn't have that were the older ones, and yeah, they yeah. So I all kinds I got of fun those. stuff. So yeah, so we had a fun time doing that and jogging yeah. around. So we there's so much more time to be spent there as well. Mm-hmm. We, for sure. But I mean, they've always got new stuff because yeah. that's the way it goes with those. Uh, that was of, a bobblehead. It was gotta have a bobblehead. Yep. Um, where'd he go? Oh, I put him up here. Oh. <laughs> right there. Like that. Yep. Good. They had a. There are actually a bunch of versions of this, but some of them were more expensive than others. So I went for the less expensive. But like, yeah, he's reaching for stuff. So. And they do a a really big buyback sort of thing. And oh, so yeah. my mom, basically, if you just invest some money in the beginning to buy a lot of books or things that you're gonna like read, and you just mm -hmm. sell it back to them, and you get credit. So if you get their credit, you get more money. But if you want, you can get cash for things. Yeah but you don't get as much cash. So basically it's a never ending cycle of going back and using that cash. And yeah. So hopefully we'll be yeah. doing that soon. Yeah. Pretty fun. So yeah, we did that. Um, there's a bunch of like, I don't know. I had a list. What did I do with it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just going to help me write a list earlier on of stuff. No squeeze. Yep. No squeezing. I'm going to find a place to put this. So Mr. Nose can still come through and not fall on well, his face. He might. Right. I know. One of these days, I will have a minute to actually clean things, but it's not what? today. I know. One day. Oh, right. Oh, I've got a thing I can show y'all. This is We'll do this right up oh, to the top, because okay. why not? So, um, coming soon to a Chicago pin store, a pin show near you, uh, Papier Plume's going to be there. Also, I'm going to be there, yeah. so... Is it going to be Patrick, you know, or... I, I, don't... I don't know. Mm -hmm. It usually is. They haven't been to my shows lately, so that's why. Yeah, um, yeah, I guess that's true, huh? Mm -hmm. They would go to Atlanta yeah. sometimes, and they haven't been in the last couple of years. They were at Triangle last year, right? Maybe not Triangle. They were somewhere. I definitely saw Patrick no. last year. Um, Dallas, they sometimes go? I didn't go to that one. Oh, well. uh, yeah, this is uh, Pepe Plume in New Orleans. Look at that fun new uh, box stamp there. Is that Yeah, is that stamp or embossed? I don't know. It's probably, I don't know, burned on, whatever. It's not okay. like, it looks flat, so I don't know. But it is very glossy. In here is an ink for the show. Um, you're seeing it here first, folks. Yeah. I actually don't know if they even put on their, their Instagram yet, but I was right. like, hey, I've got a live stream on Friday. How about uh, we see it there? So this is uh, this is called The Faceless Lady. They got a new label uh, machine, so they have fancy new labels. They gloss. All, yeah, they're a little gloss. It's all, it's yeah. all shiny and high res. Yeah. It was Chicago last yeah. year. Yeah, they're usually at Chicago. Yeah, that's the what um, I most often see. Yeah, I just haven't been to Chicago in a while, so I don't yeah. know what show it was that I saw them at. But mm -hmm. I definitely saw Patrick at something. Yeah. So I didn't get to talk to him much, so I don't know what it was. But anyway, um, yeah, so this is a really interesting ink. It is uh, got a little bit of silver shimmer in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I got this a few days ago. It's a nice green color. And uh, I've been using it. I'm using this here pen because it's felt mm -hmm. like it just kind of went with it. I got this um, really nice... Eco in jade. jade. You can see the, yeah. the silver in there. Yeah, it almost looks that. like it could glow in the dark. Yeah, it looks like it should glow in the dark, but it actually it does, does not. not. Yeah. So let's get super duper close. I'm sure other people want mules as well. Yeah. But did 
they don't sell things after the fact, do they? Or if they just I, have leftovers? I think if they have, le- think yeah. if they have leftover, they'll mm-hmm. sell it there. But uh, yes, this is the faceless lady. And uh, they said it's named after this statue that's on top of a building there in Chicago that they just didn't bother to put a face on because nothing was nearly as tall as this building. Uh, but now all the stuff around it it's is taller face. and you can tell yeah. that it doesn't have a face. Yeah. But from the ground, you can't like, tell. It didn't matter, yeah. Yeah. So it's a really nice, uh, really good green color, nice amount of shimmer in there. Mm-hmm. It's been flowing super well in this uh, Twisby. That's the kind of color I really, I love those dusty colors. It's that sort of, what does that remind me of? It's a sage-like color. Yeah, it's kind of a sage color. I like color. that. Yeah. yeah, they were definitely at the DC show. Uh, that sounds right, Greg. It was probably that. Because it, it was, must have been something that was too busy for me to really talk to Patrick. Because that's too bad. I really like Patrick. He's the guy that runs um, uh, Papier Plume down there in New Orleans, Louisiana. You know that building. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. So, also, hey, Greg. How are you doing? And those bottles generally are fairly cheap. And I like I like the wax. I like the, the presentation. Yeah, these are... Mm, I don't think they told me the price. These are the normal price of their inks is they usually go. I think they're like. But the shimmer might be a little bit more potentially. Yeah, but it's like in like a ten dollar yeah, range. Yeah, like, not much. Yeah, ten ish is usually with ten or twelve something like that. If it's so. in stock, it's it's worth it just to pick up the bottle since it's limited edition. Yeah. So yeah, very good. It's been working nicely. It looks good on paper. I'll have a I'll have a video for that soonish, but um, yeah. I haven't had it long enough to do that really. And they said I could go ahead and show it to you on Friday, so I did. Um, JetPen has, has the tiny Wancher pens at a higher price. Interesting. Oh, did you want me to get that for something, or is that for something else? Oh, that's for something okay. totally different. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so Carol, sa- Carol put hers in a in a package and oh, sent it, it to was me. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, okay. You yeah. mentioned that, and I wasn't sure what it was, but okay. Yeah. Well, good. I'll be. I'm excited. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Yes. I think it is a pen show only. Like I said, depending on if it if they have leftovers or not. Yeah, if they have leftovers, I think they usually sell them in the store. Yeah. Um, another thing is that they have made the Esterbrook J in acrylics now. So this pen was originally released in two different ebonite finishes. And uh, I have the green one, which looks like it is. Uh-huh. So this is yeah. Don't Buy It, Mike. I sent it to you. Yeah, yeah, no, I will. I got yeah. you, Carol. I got you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, this is the ebonite one, which I really like a lot. Uh, but they went ahead and made some acrylic ones. Because not everybody likes ebonite or those kinds of ebonite. Yeah. So we have it in this uh, like really nice palm green. I like the three colors that they chose. Because they they remind me of the Jewel series. You know, mm. like reminiscent colors of the the mm-hmm. blue and the green. Which are really popular Estabrook vintage colors. You know? These are all, also reminiscent of the, the original, um, like, the J, like the yeah. JRs that they put out and that yeah. sort of thing. So this feels to me like a very Estabrook color, this kind of, it does. This kind of blue. Yeah. And then pumpkin latte. What's this one? Oh, I bet this is actually brown. It so, is. I believe I, I saw different pictures of it places. Yeah. When you get the light on this pumpkin latte one, uh, I am almost positive this one's going to be brown in reality. You can, you see can a, sort of see it on the threads right in that middle there. It's just the bottom of the section there. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is an interesting color. They did this for the JR as well, and it was a really cool looking pen. Yeah, the trim is really nice looking. Yeah, it's like a hammered... Um, yeah. It's like a... A hammered gold trim on there, so it's, it's got a little bit it's of a interesting wave to because it. on your pen here, that it doesn't stand out to, at all to me. The gold, that yeah, yeah, the banding. Like honestly, I don't even know if I even thought about it being there at all on that pen. But these, it really makes a point. Where this is just yeah. a, it's a well, the uh, the ebonite on this is like really so much. Yeah, it draws attention for yeah. sure. Um, yeah, these are very comfortable pen to hold. I think it's a good size, good. You know, good weight and balance and all that jazz. It's um, interesting that every part is sort of a different color. Yeah, that's how Ebonite does, yeah. you know? I think um, on that's these just acrylics... Me, but that's it's... so light. That's yeah. That's, specifically... That's pretty normal for Ebonite, I think, where it tends to get paler. As you can see, like, yeah. up here, you can see it, like, tends to get paler toward the middle of Ebonites, yeah. usually. I don't know why exactly, but it's yeah. got to be somehow how it was yeah. made, you know? Want that green ebonite one, but it's pretty pricey. Uh, yeah, they are mm, two twenty five, so not wild. But oh, the oh the green ebonite one. I uh, I don't know if these were more expensive. Choice. I think these are about the same. Let's see. Honestly, yeah, I didn't even I didn't even connect that those were the same pens. Even I don't. Oh uh, really? Yeah. No, it really wow. that just the, the banding and the whole thing just threw me off. Yeah. Huh. 
Huh. Uh, 265. So it's a little bit more in the ebonite. A little bit more. Yeah. So it came in a green and a brown ebonite to begin with, and now it's in a bunch of other colors. Here's that other pumpkin latte one. So this one you can see the brown more because of the way they did the lighting. But it also does have a little orange finial, which I like a lot. I would check a different spot and see if any place has like better lighting. Certain other places have their own that you can see the darker colors better. Okay. I'm just curious. All right. Yeah. Um, that was the JR. Hmm. Let's see what Drum Goals has got for us. That's. Oh, that's interesting. Uh huh. Wow, that's. That's a really interesting yeah. look. So it's definitely more brown. Yeah. It looks like maybe they're having trouble with the guy like, getting the lighting to work with it or something. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. That looks completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real different. Well, I think what happened is they were they took it on some kind of background and they cut the cut background the out because you can out. see the you can see the edges aren't yeah. quite aren't quite normal. Interesting. Because yeah, yeah there there are lots of things now that got yeah. the background out. Oh, I know, I love it. Yeah. That's uh, that's a JR. Yeah. I guess most things are on the JR still in picture wise. Yeah, it's su it's super new, so it's not like it's been out there very long. Um, this one you can just this one you can just barely see it inside the cap. You can see the brown. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I'm really interested to see this in person. Yeah. Because uh, I haven't seen them in person, obviously, because they just came out. Just came out. Just dropped. Oh, well, we actually have people here. Snack what? stream? Oh, yeah, we'll do a snack stream. Um, let me... My parents are here, so we don't have to do any particular time, because I don't have to call them. <laughs> it's true. Uh, let's see. Well-appointed desk. She's got her Zoom meetup this weekend as well. Uh, three thirty central. So that's four thirty here. Our time. So let's do it three o'clock on okay. Sunday. Does that work for everyone? Three o'clock snack stream this week. Sunday. The Baltic Eastern states. Time. Baltic states. Uh, uh, let's see. So we got that one. The Osterbergs look classy, like the green one. Yeah, facts. Um, I think it's mm -hmm. really nice. Uh, oh, this one. The eight twenty three is is oh, okay. uh, available more widely now. Yeah, we heard about clear. that from Jacqueline at the show. Heard it, heard it here first. That's right. Let's see the cult pens one. Um, interesting. Oh man, the, the prices are all over the place. Yeah. Oh, that's eBay. That's why that's. Oh. Let's see. Are they listed anywhere here? Uh, Atlas and Steel and Steel. I think Steel that's a, a pre-order. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pre-order. I don't think they're actually out yet, uh, yeah. but they will be soon. Does it say when? Um, expected mid-May, so soonish. Yeah. 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 So the 823 has always come in three colors, but this clear one was only ever available in Japan. So if somebody had a clear one, it was fancy because yeah. it was in, it was from Japan. Although, did the J Japanese one have the the black ends? That I don't know. I'm used to sailors having black ends that are only in Japan. So is it the opposite? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it was. All the ones they're going to show here, obviously, of course. Yeah. Well, this one was a year ago. So this would be oh, the Japanese one. one. Yeah, it yeah. Does. It was yeah. black. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I was like, oh, do they make a whole custom one? I didn't think so. Another so, new thing is that signature nib that we got to try. Yeah, yeah. So the signature nib doesn't cost any more than the regular ones, which yeah, is nice. It, that's nice and interesting. Yeah. Yeah. They did jack up the price of all their pens uh, a year ago or so, I guess. Yeah, something about, I guess. Yeah, I want to yeah. I I say it was about a year ago. And so they mm -hmm. did make them more expensive. Um so three thirty six is not like the cheapest pin on the in, on the market. No. Um, they used to be in the like mid uh, right. uh, two sixty two eighty. Yeah, I want to say something right. like that. Yeah. Um, but uh, that is one of my favorite pens. These things are great. Um, so this if you, is definitely one of your favorites. If you're looking to drop three hundred bucks on a pen. You could definitely do worse. Um, are you gonna get a clear one? Maybe. Um, use use uh, use Mike's code if you're gonna pre order this. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Mike will yeah, buy yeah. one? <laughs> well, I think Jacqueline's going to send one out for me oh, from sure. Pilot because mm -hmm. I want to use this signature nib. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so what's a signature nib? It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a stub, right? I don't, it's pretty stubby. Like, I don't remember it being, I don't, I, again, I just used it really quickly. Yeah, she used it like on the stream. Yeah. And just really fast, but I just thought it was a little softer. Hmm. Than like some of their others, mm. it felt again a little yeah. that I was using because it can. It, I don't know if it felt as soft as their soft versions necessarily. It says but uh, the signature nib blends the broader aspects of traditional nibs with the artistic stub, flair yeah. of stub nibs, enabling stylish strokes and enhanced personal expression in your handwriting. 
designed for increased flexibility. Oh. This nib allows for subtle variations in line with with changes in writing pressure. Yeah, so yeah. it's a slightly uh, like a soft stub kind of, um, but it's, it's a not softer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not gonna be yeah. like flex. No, but, no, not flex. Yeah. Uh, but it is not like their usual stub, which is a really an italic. It is. That's um, sharper. I remember that tester. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care for their stub because it's too or. Yeah, I don't care for the what they call a stub because it's just too sharp for me. Yeah. Um, now it's not really a marker. I mean, it's more like a. It's broader. It's, like a, it's broad yeah. for sure, but it's like a. It's not like a C nib, like a course yeah. or anything like that. It's a stub sort of situation. Um, yeah, I liked it. I got to write with it after you know. Afterwards. Yeah. Uh, after <laughs> after we did the live stream that time, um, and it was really nice. So yeah, I liked it. I think Hello, it felt good. How um, you doing? And those nibs, those uh, number fifteen pilot nibs, are my favorite. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have to update your calendar for what? Just for fun. For Sunday. Oh, for Sunday. Yes, good. Yeah, three p.m. Sunday Eastern time. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have yums. Now you need a signature nib. I mean, maybe so. Um, I'll let you know how great it is when I get my hands Are on one. Are they gonna be on any other tins? I don't know. I know they're putting um, the entire like you know fourteen or fifteen nib lineup on the seven forty three. Okay. Yeah. Um, I they have said that I will get a set of seven forty threes to play with. Um, in the nearish future, but I don't know exactly when. Yeah. Um, so. Those ones on your chest. I don't know if you know this, <sighs> but know. he's been. He's just I staring know. at you. <laughs> he does that. He'll stare at me and then he'll sort of like put his hand yeah. on her paw like, on me. I want up here. I know. Just... You want to go find the Pan Am Retro since I can't reach my keyboard sure. anymore? <laughs> do you want to get rid of this? Yeah, sure. You can do that. Uh, so yeah, check out the A23. I think it's a pretty great pen. But the 743 is going to have a zillion nib styles in it, and those are also the number 15, so that will be nice. Um, also, the thing I heard um, at the show is that the um, 743 Vertigree pens, like this one, will be going away in December. So if you really want to get your hands on one of these green 743 pens... Um, get it now. You Well, get it in the next eight months. <laughs> it's still got time. But. So here is the... Will you scroll down for me? Oh. Fin was the fit? Oh, it's always the Pan Am, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. You go to that last picture because it shows the whole thing. Oh, there yeah. you go. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's it's like cute. a guy hailing a bus, I guess. Yeah. Or hanging off a bus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or like a. Yeah, I guess he is. Yeah. These are all made off of old uh, Pan Am advertisements, and I don't really what remember. Was he either Tokyo? Or something like that? What is the other one? Oh. Uh, probably, oh, not the Hawaii. Japan. This yeah, is Japan. Japan. And this is the other one. Let's hold on to that last picture. One. Okay. okay. This is Interesting fine. color combination on this one. Yeah, I like the color scheme. Um, I haven't had to have any of these because they just don't have a, I don't have a, like, a historical connection to it. Same. You know? But they're cool, but it's not necessarily for me. That's fine. Yeah. 74 is a lot for like this kind, right? Um, well, I mean, it's all about the how many colors. That's you right. Use that's, and true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You're and, right. You're right. Yeah. I was talking to uh, I was talking to our friend Marty about that, and he was telling me all the things that like all the little things you can add to a retro 51, like you know, it bumps it up like a dollar an extra, here, an extra yeah. dollar, an extra five bucks a pin, an extra, and then you got to multiply that a couple of times when you sell it. Yeah. All that sort of thing. Which, so. yeah, that makes sense then. Yeah, I'm not sure I ever got to fly Pan Am. Maybe I did when I, I was a kid. I definitely did not. But I don't think. I don't know. These have a really nice finish on the, the nose cones and stuff. Mm, yeah. That's sort like of like. Antique silver. Antique oh, uh, stonewashed pewter. Oh, wow. Stonewashed that pewter. That sounds fancy. Okay. That does sound fancy. Uh, is the post-it note still on my front porch? You bet it is. Yeah. yeah that's going to be there until we get our front porch there, torn off. I bet this has a licensing. That's probably true. Oh, I'm sure it does. Yeah. Like, who has true. that licensing? I'm curious. Because Pranam's not a thing anymore, but... Yeah, I don't know. Who, uh, I don't know who owns it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 823 is a little different. I guess technically very similar to 743. It seems like a few steps up. So the only difference between the 823 and the 743 is the filling system, essentially. So yeah. there's that one. Oh, and here's the 823. When I tell you these are my favorite pens, I'm not kidding. Like They're always right in front of me. So the 743 is that green one, and it's uh, cartridge or converter fill. And the other is the 823, and that's a vacuum filler. Yeah. So that's kind of the big difference between the two. That's really the only difference between the two. Otherwise, they are the same. So. Yeah. Um, although, I don't know. Let me, actually, now that I say that, let me see if I can see through this little. 
Uh, yeah, it does. Uh -huh. uh, so <laughs> one of the fun things I noticed about this one, because we don't have solid color 823s, is that the little ring in here is translucent, which uh, is interesting. On this one, it's translucent, and it yeah. makes sense because the whole body is yeah. translucent. It looks black, it, but that's... But you can, when you, you took the cap off, yeah. you can see the light. Yeah. It's just a super dark gray translucent yeah. one, so... Yep, so that's the difference. Nibs are the same. All the rest of the trim and everything is the same. So, yeah. probably the airline that uh, flew both your grandfather. Uh, oh yeah, probably so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it was very very popular airline. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. First plane flight, the stewardess brought around a basket of apples. <laughs> it turned out to be a cook a cooking apple. Oops, <laughs> that's hilarious. Wow. <laughs> oh man. All right, what's next on the list here? Oh, that Pro Gear Celestial Gray. Yeah, I don't even know anything about this. That You're have I to... don't know where it was in emails and things. It's the the Sailor Pro Gear for the year. Uh, Celestial Gray. There you go. Is that it? This is a pin shallot. Oh, that's pretty fancy. It's a very, very spangly yeah, color. I think, is it all ruthenium? It, that looks brighter. That They definitely brighten that up. So I'm curious if that is ruthenium, the whole thing. Um, it looks darker there. Oh, let's yeah. see. Homage to the stars, etc., etc. Yeah, it's rhodium. Oh. Yep. Rhodium trim, not ruthenium. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. I like it. Yeah. I think it's a nice looking, nice looking pen. 392 is, that is, that is pretty high. Like, I like Sailors and all, but. but I thought they lowered it again. Isn't it like, well, I don't know. so this is like their, it's no special edition type thing. That's I true. I think is the yeah. deal. Um, I don't think they lowered all of them, but oh, they've okay. lowered a bunch of them. I think they're in the process of bringing them down a bit, so. Hello, Holly Slacks. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for the sub. Yeah. Just saw it at Yoseka. Look at you be getting to go to Yoseka. Uh, yeah, very nice. Oh, man. Cooking apples are best for snacking. They're acceptably tart. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it depends on what your oh. aesthetic is for. I mean, I don't mind tart things. Mike doesn't. But for apples... Is a I'm, cooking apple just a Granny Smith? It's more texture for me. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it was a texture thing. Yeah. That's for my... The apple... is the, the, If it's a bad texture or the skin has a weird texture... Then I don't like that, but I like a little tart apple. I like a sweet apple. I'm not as particular about that. Yeah. This cat is asleep. Yeah, he's 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 happy. <laughs> he's happy cat. He's just said this is where he needs to be. All right, you want to push the keyboard up under the thing there? We're kind of done with it. Okay. We can use the the downward camera. I have nothing stuff. to talk about today. I got so I, many things. Yeah, Mike has things I do not. I so I things. buy at pen shows. I don't buy any with time otherwise. Yeah. All right. So um, I want to talk about this a little bit. I don't think we've talked about this on the channel before. And it's something I got, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I yeah. guess. Um, this is called A Beat. A Beat. A Beat. Uh, so this fun little vial, vial jar, is um, kind of the key to this like fountain pen self-filling system thing that they sent me. So... A beat reached out a little while ago and they said, hey, um, would you like to try this thing out? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. So they sent it to me um, through their Amazon store. And I've been uh, emailing back and forth with uh, their representative, whose name I think is Beth, if I'm not mistaken. And um, yeah, it's finding interesting stuff out. So like how to say a beat. Mm -hmm. um, and I will have a video coming out for this tomorrow because they've been waiting to get more stock in their yeah. Amazon store before I posted about it. Big um, Boot has had one too and he... Did the video already. Yeah, he did the video already. So you may have seen this a little bit, yeah. but this is a really interesting little pen. Um, it kind of, uh, I mean, it, you know, it's clear. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they'll have the refiller unit available in May. Yeah. Um, so you'll be able to refill this bottle with whatever you like, which is very cool. Yeah. I kind of wish that that was out now, but yeah. um, actually this black ink is quite good. I've is got, it? I've got okay. no problems with it. It's okay. been good on copy paper. It's been good on everything. So. Okay. Um, interior wise, the section of this pen looks, um, it's th basically the That's, same kind of section as a Lamy Vista. Yeah, exactly. It's not exactly the same. It's got like some flat areas and stuff like that. That's a bit different. Mm -hmm. The feed on the inside is quite yeah. a bit different. But that shape of that nib too. But yeah, Everything. I yeah. think you can actually probably, um, swap Switch the nib them. with a Lamy yeah. if you want to. So the nib and that sort of thing is the same and like the general shape. And you can actually put a Vista cap on this with no problem. Oh, where they uh, test to that? Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, but otherwise, like, it's got some flat areas that the other one doesn't have. And like I said, the feed is very different. There are a zillion tiny fins in this. You can sort yeah. of see them there. The Vista doesn't have nearly as many mm -hmm. fins. Um, but the cool thing about this one is that it fills up back here. Which is yeah. really neat. Yeah. So, could you unscrew the top there? I have a. Yeah, I just wish it didn't look the way that it did. I wish they would go on a, a more. A, their original style. Yeah, I mean, really the only thing is, like, this, the nib and the section are the same, but the rest of yeah. it's, you know, like, the cap is actually quite different. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you know, I don't know, it's fine. Um, but the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but the way you fill it is you take this little hole right here and you put it on this little needle that's right up in the middle of here. And then you just push this ring down and let it go, and it will pump ink up into That's the pen. That's what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. So it's it fills really quickly. It's yeah. pretty good. Um, and um, I've enjoyed using this for the last few weeks. You want to fill it? I mean, it's already full, but... Um, no, you don't have to. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Well, we're going to live dangerously here. <laughs> Yeah. This might be an ink fountain. I don't know. Yeah, right? Uh, I was curious what, what happens. They do say to uh, not take the section off when you're filling it. I imagine that's because the ink will just shoot, shoot straight through straight. it. Shoot straight, yeah. Um, but I haven't had ink come out the end, although I haven't filled it when it's full either. I just refilled this like a day or two ago. Yeah. So you stick it on there like that. Uh, yeah, the paperwork that comes with it totally looks like it's available, but I guess they just haven't gotten stock for it yet uh, for the refiller thing. And then you push this down. Like a, it says three seconds, and then you let it go. Oh, wow, I saw it. It actually went down and then went back up. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Well, it didn't blast out the top or anything, so that's no. good. I know, right? Well, that's why I had this towel sitting here. Yeah. And you just pull it off, and uh, there you go. This is, uh, has, I was worried that it might, like, ink might yeah. come out the back or sure. Same. do something weird, but no, it's actually worked mm -hmm. flawlessly, so I'm actually pretty impressive with this thing. Um... It works really well. It's got a, it only comes with a fine nib, I think. Uh, okay. It's a very yeah. good fine nib. Yeah, it's fine. I haven't had any problems with it at all. And like I said, I it's think a fine, fine. I think the 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 Lamy's will fit on it. Mm. Um, so that's kind of a plus because you can yeah. get those pretty cheaply. Yeah. So yeah, so this thing goes for like twenty actually, do I have it pulled up over here? I might have. Is that with the the whole the whole set? Yeah, this is this okay. whole set. Well, it's, that's not bad at all. Yeah, it's twenty it's twenty seven ninety nine. Not bad at all. It says it's on sale from forty five, but sure, like, yeah. uh, who knows if it yeah. if they ever actually cost that? But yeah, but yeah, this is this is pretty good. I'm uh, a fifty five degree spherical nib. Oh, wow. okay, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what though, it writes real nice. So yeah, I don't have any problem with that. I think it's pretty nice. Uh, I like it. I know. <laughs> you have to do teamwork when we have a cat on me. Yeah, this silly cat right here. So what do you all think about this? Is it something you'd be interested in? Or is it just sort of a, a kitschy thing that I think, is fun, but... Um, I think this actually could be a really useful thing to have. Um, because I know a lot of folks have trouble filling their pens without making a mess. Mess, yeah. And I really mm -hmm. think this would be a good thing to have, like... Like, if I was going to have an off, uh, like a pen at the office, yeah. I think this would be really great to have there. Because this isn't going to dry out by itself. It's, yep, like, very sealed. Um, it comes with a good amount of ink. Like, it's a fairly big pot, and it's, you know, full to... You can see where the ink line is actually oh. there. That actually has Chinese writing on it, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, they, these are made in China for sure. Um, at the company's based in Shanghai, I want to say. I was just seeing what that was. Oh, it's, it's, a, just, it's a sticker on this yeah. one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, um, it's pretty good. It fills up super easy. It seems to hold a good amount of ink. I mean, the, you can see there, the, <laughs> the ink actually will go back into this little pipe that yeah. goes up the, the length yeah. of it. But it holds a fair amount of ink. I haven't had it run out too, on me too much. Mm -hmm. Um, the cap seems to keep the, the ink, the nib wet enough. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Like it's not the fanciest fountain pen on the market, but, yeah. um, it's for sure very usable. Um, it's a good writer. The so, ink seems good. Yeah. Can the, you easily change the ink out of this? So that's what we were talking about earlier yeah. is they're making a part for that. So the part that will eventually, okay. Yeah. So you can switch that ink out. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, but at the same time, yeah, I just don't think that this is for... This is for a very specific user, and it'll be great for specific people. I think it's for a very general user. Oh, so like not the, like the really niche fountain fo pen folks yes. like us that have a jillion bottles of ink yes, around. Yes, that's exactly. But yeah. for somebody who's using it for like just doing like just business stuff or, or school stuff, or somebody that uses the same inks. Sure. 
or has a bottle that they yeah, use yeah. and they don't want to switch things out all the time. I mean, or... you could, you can take the, if you unscrew the section on this, you can take it off and you could clean this out and just fill it with your own with a syringe if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, but I think sort of like the, the cool part of this system yes. is that you don't get your fingers inky. Yeah. And it's like just fast and easy. There's yeah. no, one of the things I like about fountain pens is like messing around with filling it. Mm -hmm. There's like a twiggly factor mm -hmm. to it. Sure. And this is not a twiggly thing. This yeah. is like a. And there's a lot of people that hate that about fountain pens. Yeah. That they don't, they just want it to work and they don't want the mess. They don't want that, that annoys people. Yeah. And this is just really not messy at all. Yeah. Um, like, I think this would be something that would be good for, like, I have a, uh, I have a coworker who I've gotten into fountain pens and his only pen is a Lamy Vista yeah. and he loves it. Yeah. But like, he doesn't care about having bottles of ink. He wants he, cart, he just uses cartridges. He wants it to be the easiest possible be thing. Yeah. And like, I think this would be good for that sort of user sure. who's not like, I'm going to have 50. I'm going to have a pen that I write with a lot. Yeah. When it runs out, I want to fill it with ink and I don't yeah. want to mess around, you know? Yeah. So I think it's cool for that. Uh, Attract to the gadgetiness. Yeah, the gadgetiness of the self fill thing is kind of cool. I have to use a black ink to refill a bottle. I don't know. I think you'll be able to. I think you'll be able to ref to to clean it out. I'm I'm curious to see what that refiller is like. I, yeah. I think that'll matter. Yeah. Um. But all the combinations of things that it has down here, are like, hey, get this with like other fountain pen inks and stuff. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I don't know what the I don't know what the refill. Does it have a thing anything about the refill thing on here? It doesn't. So we'll see. We'll 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 see how that goes. But um, when that comes out, I'll get the refill thing and just see how it goes. Yeah. So, yeah. Because right now I don't know. But uh, you like twiggling too? Yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. There's a word you didn't know you needed until I said it. That's what my grandmother always said about <laughs> me is that I have twiggly hands. Because mm -hmm. I would always get a hold of something and like take it apart. Yeah. Or I wanted to like, I don't know, like with these Legos and stuff. Like I want to take things apart and put them together. Yeah. So. You have a, you have a sleepy, <laughs> sleepy baby on you. <laughs> this cat. He's just like. <laughs> knows. <laughs> You're alive? Yeah. Yeah, he's alive. He's just like, what? I'm, I'm sleeping there, dude. I'm sleeping. Just let me. So, I know. Yeah, I like my grandmother, too. She's great. Um, so, anyway, that's the that's the Abit pen, and I'll have a video up for that tomorrow. Um, I have, like, alternate camera angles. Oh, wow. That's... I really want to try to film, like, the ink going up into the clean pen. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, it seems kind of cool. So, if that's the thing you're into, I don't know. Give it a shot. I'll, um... Maybe it's... Yeah. People who often watch these are... People really into fountain pens, the yeah. niche part of the community that might not be yeah. popular. Well, but, it might not be the folks that are on the live stream now, yeah, but, but there's definitely like a lot of folks will come to the channel and like, you know, or yes. look for that particular kind or of thing. Or you know so. somebody who, in, by having this, maybe be a little bit easier for them to adopt this idea of having yeah, a Yeah, transition pen. into another kind yeah. of cool thing. Yeah. Yeah. Butane kitchen torch refills in a similar manner. Oh, that's, that's cool. Oh. I don't know if I've... I haven't ref... My butane stuff's always been, like, when I used those back in the olden times, they were, like, juice. Never had a gas one. Mm. Keep the noise down, trying to sleep here. He doesn't actually care about noise at all, this cat. He's like, mm, loud uh, stuff, whatever. Yeah. Um, music pen refillers start with band. There you go. All right. Um, what do I do with my list? What else? Oh. Uh, well you have cool you just open some things that are cool i just open these things too yeah so if we show things you guys have to promise they watch <laughs> the videos when mike actually posts them which <laughs> most do you do to be fair i know a lot of you here will be interested just to see what he has to say that's not initial yeah. impression yeah it's a good gateway fountain pen i think or just a good like user grade thing you know yeah all right so i haven't done anything from lockby in a while and i got an email from lockby not too long ago saying hey um, our founder, Chris, has retired, and I uh, just wanted to reach out and you know, introduce myself, yada, yada. And um, so I got to chatting with him, and um, <laughs> silly cat. Would you like to get down? Yeah, you're kind of looking for an exit. There you go. There you go, bud. See ya. No, oh. says bye. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I love him, but man, it's hard to, hard to, hard to breathe sometimes mm -hmm. with a cat on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's down there sniffing. He's just sort of... So, Hanging out. so they sent me uh, two pouches because they had a couple of other things. Like they had a watch, a watch pouch and um, they have a, a notebook cover thing that I use yeah, yeah. a lot, which is uh, mm -hmm. waxed canvas. And um, I said, well, I'm not really a watch guy, so I wouldn't really know what to say about that. But I love pouches. And so they sent me two. This one is a pen case and it has a little velcro -y thing back here for your odds and ends. Mm -hmm. And it has a little pocket here and actually a little pocket here. 
Although I don't think I'd ever use that pocket on this side. I don't know. It's probably just easier to just stitch all the way across, mm, yeah. I imagine. This is yeah. a blue wax canvas. You can kind of see when I scratch at it. It'll pick up little scratches. How does wax... get us a lamb chop? Get us a lamb chop. And it opens up thusly, and it's a four-pen case. So you can stick your, stick your pens in there. Now, I kind of want to see what happens when you have pens in opposite sides here. These pins are actually huh. a little bit long for this for this case. This, this is... one thing, it seems like the 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 top is too high. What are you I, talking about? This is too high. Like oh. it needs to be a little bit lower hmm. to be able to actually. I mean, I understand you want to protect it, but it just seems like it's going to limit the space and the pens you can use. I think I found some delicious, delicious silica gel. Yeah. Delicious mm, silica gel. Candy. Mmm, <laughs> candy. All right, so let's put that in. So, I mean, maybe one of the reasons they did that because you don't want them to bump into That's each other. That's what I said, yeah. Um, let me find another thing I can put on the other side here. Those 823s are a little bit on the long side. These but, fit perfectly. Oh, okay, so when you close it, they're actually, they're actually next to each other. I mean, personally, I would rather just have, like, a thing right in the middle. What kind of thing? Oh, like a divider? Yeah, like a little tiny little pad, like a that. Yeah. I mean, if you're putting... Not everybody's going to be a fountain pen user either, so... Yeah, I just feel like... like... That'll, that'll matter for that. Let's see. That's a little bit... Too, it's a little bit too short for the full-size one of these. And that's not going to fit. So that's, that's the thing. Much. There's going to be have things like... It's not going to fit but at all. there's also like no normal pen that's that size. What? They're more like this, <laughs> so... We'll see if, I want to see how these nestle. Yeah, so that's actually, that's better than I thought. So these kind of go, you know, they'll go in sequence. They fit in between each other. Mm. They did make a version of this, which had two up and two down. Okay. And I think those were shorter. Mm -hmm. But if these were shorter, perhaps like the clips would hit each other, mm. or maybe that's what they were worried about. But um, yeah, this is, yeah. this is pretty interesting. I, I mean, I just got this in the mail. It's kind of go around a corner there at the bottom if you yeah. want to. Um, yeah. So we'll see how this goes. I haven't. <laughs> it says throw away do not eat do Absolutely. not eat P don't eat that we're just joking it's we not, yeah. we call it candy as yeah. fun uh now i actually do put these in the bottom of my um uh, my little cup that i dry pens in because uh, uh, i'll mm -hmm. put this like below the uh the paper towel the paper in there towels, just to, like yeah. suck up moisture so i'll use this for a while i'll let you know uh what i think of it after a bit of use but Initial impressions are, yeah, I do wish these are a little bit shorter, but I get why they're not. Yeah, I mean, it's not, um, again, and I'm glad it's not that they a intermesh. deal breaker, for sure, yeah. So if you're using long fountain yeah. pens, it's not great, but yeah. like retros and stuff like that fit in there perfectly. These, yeah. um, these do, the 3776, that's a pretty normal size mm -hmm. pen, so. The interior is actually very soft. But like, to get these out, it's like, you're going to have to. You just kind of go yeah. through it. Yeah. Well, you could put the clip over the top. Yeah, that but. one you could, yeah. Um, you just kinda, true. This one, these aren't too bad. You just gotta yeah. grab the top. That's easy enough. It, yeah, just will really depend on this. I wasn't expecting this to be soft. Feel that? It's nice. Yeah, like a it's micro, nice. like a microfiber. See, I'm curious what like a a pro gear size pen or like a well, pro gear actually the same size or as something. Cavecos uh, fit in there just fine. You can go grade it up a little bit. Yeah, you're just gonna have to. Yeah, it fits fine. Do the the squeeze. Do a little bit of a squeeze. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad, actually. I like I like that it's got this microfiber. I don't think they had mm -hmm. that before. Yeah. This is a perfectly fine material. Like, I don't think this is going to braid your pens, but the interior microfiber is nice. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Let's see what that's... Um... Also, they do kind of aim these at, like, the sort of EDC kind of crowd. Like, yeah. this is an outdoorsy material. Yeah. And so I think people are more likely to use something like this in there than they mm -hmm. are to throw yeah. in, like, a you know an 823. Necessarily so. the fountain pen community, yeah. specifically. Yeah. Uh, this other one... It's a great work. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks very much. Appreciate that. Um, oh, you put them into dry pens faster too? Yeah, I don't know if it actually helps, but maybe it does. So this one is called the um, uh, the Venture Pouch. I'm oh, sorry, this is called the Quattro in Navy. Oh, I also looked up how much these cost, Audrey. Look, he gets so mad at me. When I asked him earlier, <laughs> I'm like he's trying just to like, show her. Like, will you stop asking? So I'm like, oh, look at these features. And she's like, how much does it cost? And I'm like, I don't know. I've only just gotten in the mail. And I'm looking at the features of the thing. Um, I want to know if the fee like the price will be fitting with the I'm like, look at this you know? Corvette. And I'm like, look at all the things. She's like, how much does it's it too cost? Expensive. Who even cares? I know. <laughs> so, um, so the pin case is 39, and this is 49. So for like outdoorsy tech pouch stuff, right, right in the sort of 
normal zone for those, I think. This is a really interesting pouch. So um, you have clips on either side, so you can put it on a strap if you want and carry it like a sling, mm -hmm. which is neat. It's got a little handle here to help you get it out of your bag. It's waxed canvas, just like the other, so it'll be very water resistant and such. Um, and I opened this side. Katie. Hi. Mwah. There you go. Why does Katie not allowed to be up because here? Because I'm, I'm busy. And <gasps> Poor so, Katie. It's a here. Hello. Hey, Aww. thanks Crust very much. Crust for Scrags. Oh, she's going to be so excited. Thank you. <laughs> Crust for Scrags. Those just sitting on the floor sleeping. Yeah, he's been doing that. He likes to sit in here in the summers. I don't know why exactly. Yeah, it might be just but his... not maybe not too warm. Yeah. But he so we've been turning the heating pad off for him because he'll be you can tell he's trying to cool down a little bit. So yeah, he'll go and sit. He'll like sit on the heating pad for a while, and he'll go and like sit underneath this wooden end table we have and just like wooden sprawl wooden on the wood. There, yeah, and then he'll get off of that and go back on his heating pad. <laughs> so it's like when you go to the pool and you jump in the you go jump the in the pool and the, and the, and the, yeah or the pool just, in the hot tub yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, he comes and sits in here in the summers because it's warm in my office. Yep, if you uh, if you have your bingo card, we have a, a Katie Heated. Yep. And Mr. Nose um, here, yeah. Katie Heated indeed. All right, so um, this, if you open the top, you have a sort of typical pouch thing, like, you know, a space over here to throw stuff and then like some little Velcroed mesh pockets on this side. Uh, and I was like, okay, well, that's, that's a pretty normal pouch. But, like, what's this other zipper? And the other zipper is that it's a pen and tool roll case so you can mm -hmm. put your you know you know i don't know your multi-tool or your mm -hmm. you know a knife or a bunch of pens or whatever over on this side mm -hmm. now they will be touching there's nothing yeah. in the middle to separate yeah. them but i also don't think this is really for fountain pens yeah. necessarily yeah. like they do show in one of the product photos like a um a vista over on this side but yeah that or a but like kind of you know a g2 or something then yeah fine. So you throw like your pocket knife and your yeah. uh, I don't know your your flashlight and a pen or it's two. It's interesting. And that kind of thing. It's nice that they put a bigger one and then smaller. Yeah, they do that on their tool rolls because they're not yeah. just for pens. They're for like yeah. throw a pair of pliers in there yeah. if you need to. You know, but this would fit like a smaller Leatherman mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is a really interesting pouch, and then that all stuff will just be kind of in the middle of. It the could pouch be a there. watch too. Yeah, you could put and a watch that in one there. if you you know. Yeah, if you're a watch guy. Yeah. This is a really interesting pouch. It's, um, I mean, it's not going to be for everybody's needs, but... Oh, the other thing I've seen people put in there... Pardon me. Ooh, oh, wow. Um, goodness. Ugh, hiccup. Um, is uh, kind of like... You know, you can try to hip up, hiccup and burp at the same time. It's you hiccup. go Can you, like, yep, that's a like vapor yep. locked? Yep. Uh, yeah. I saw people put a bunch of things in the middle there, like cords. So they put, like, they'll, uh -huh. like, wrap up their charging yeah, cords uh -huh. and put them in those. Yeah, it keeps it down. Uh, and, like, all that charger stuff. And then you can put your yep. pens and whatnot in this side, mm -hmm. which is kind of interesting. So yeah. I'm a big proponent of bags and bags. So I think you it's pretty love interesting. a bag and a bag. Yeah, you could put a glass of cloth in between them. That's uh -huh. true. Yeah. That's um, true, too. Heat would be a great name for a cat. Bags. The magician's pouch? I mean, maybe. It's a little bit too obvious, maybe, for, like, if they made this blue. Yeah, how uh, many colors do these come in? Uh, three. So you've oh, got wow. black, uh, blue, and they're kind of like olive drab sort of mm -hmm. color. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a brownish. I guess I should say it's brown. Um, let me grab the other one over here. I like brighter colors. So I wish they would have a little, a little bit brighter. Just saying. <laughs> I do too. That's why I went for the navy. Like a bright yellow in this. I, I, that would be nice. Yeah, that'd be pretty great. Uh, so this is the other color, which is kind of a olivey, browny kind or of. Or if they yeah, if they just have that color. Yeah, just as give me the, the just give me the yellow. Sorry, I didn't know it was hooked, but yeah, yeah. that and that that'd be yeah. nice. Yeah, you can see this one's got a lot of uh, wear, wear on it because I've used this a lot. I'm not using it at the moment. I decided to use another notebook for right now, but our notebook cover, but. It's pretty great. You can put a notebook on this side. You can put in stuff traveler style mm -hmm, and yeah. these little elastics. A5. Great, yeah. Yeah, great little pockets for post-it notes and all kinds of stuff in there. This is a really good cover. I like the hook a lot. Yeah, you like the hook. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that hook. I think it's pretty great. Uh, and then they have the tool roll. Oh, also, this is really handy. Yeah. So if you're like walking around, and you don't want to you know, put it in a bag and just carry it by this handle. So pretty nice. So yeah, there's some new Lockbee stuff. Like I said, I just got it. Um, yeah. Like literally... Two hours haven't ago. been able to play yet to see. Yeah, I haven't even taken the tags off. Yeah. They were still in the bags. <laughs> so, yeah. fresh. There's some fresh, hot off the presses fresh. stuff for you there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty interesting stuff. Um, it's your dream. Uh, everyone should be like a Mary Poppins carpet bag. Yeah, for sure. Just a bag Poor of Katie holding. really wants out. Or she wants to look out. Well, it makes it too hot in here. And you're mm. already talking about how hot it is. So, we're not going to. I do have that. not. Mm. Mm. It's 80 degrees in here. 
There you go. Yeah. There you go. I'm just letting the people know the, the conditions that we're working in in here. Yeah. Nice, yeah. very comfortable conditions that we are lucky to have. All right. Um, what else? Oh, I got some stuff from Atlas today. I just unboxed this right people before. People want to see these. They do? Uh, do the people want to see? Will you still watch the unboxing? They have to promise that they're going to still watch unboxing. We got Easter secret, uh, Easter circus penis, basically. They are good. Isn't there one that's actually that flavor? Or are all these, are any of these banana flavored? I don't remember. I think this one is. The yellow? Okay. Mm. Good to know. I was thinking it was lemon, but it's not. Okay. Mm. I like them. 80s torture? Oh. Mm. <laughs> you, you, live in, you live in San Francisco, right? <laughs> yeah. No, 80 is pretty, pretty neutral here. Well, to be fair, it's also probably not actually 80. Um, it's probably that. It's just that computer. the clock with the uh, with the thermometer on it is where all the hot air from the computer blows up the wall. So it's probably not actually. 80. Becky says we have needs. Oh my! Good thing she really used her claws to jump I there. I turn on the turn on the fan. I don't need that. I'm, I I don't need that. At all. I want it. it. Feels nice. Okay. Um, you're eating it. You only ever think it's, oh yeah. I, um, I never noticed it was banana flavored until Audrey pointed it out to me. Oh, I, yeah, I, 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 I just like it. All right. Um, I got, I got some inks. Shockingly. Shock. So, uh, these are all from, these are from Atlas where, uh, thanks. You're, you're, you're using my code over there. Yeah. Uh, ink dependence at checkout is super helpful. It gives me a little, uh, gives me a little cash back for their, uh, at their store to, to, you know, buy more buy stuff. Cool stuff. <laughs> So this is uh, Linen Toolbar Ink. I'm a big fan of Linen Toolbar Inks. I really like these. Uh, these are Want Flow, Bombax Siba, and Cat General. Cat General. Cat General. Look at those. Look at the labels are very good on Cute here. Label. Yeah. Uh, these are from the Fortune Teller series. Mm -hmm. um, this is a uh, limited edition for spring. And this is also a limited edition for spring. Oh. Just in a different set. Oh. Um, this is what the label on the cat one looks like. Because the bottle Jeez. label is... So much better than just the box one. Pretty great. Yeah, I, I really like it. They come in these nice little jars. Um, they're great inks. I've, I, was, I was psyched when uh, Atlas got them because I'm like, yes, I have store credit there. Yeah. Good. I can go ham because they are like 20 bucks a piece. So they're yeah. not the cheapest inks on the planet. And um, this is uh, this will allow me to kind of go ham on those when I have store credit, which I love. So this is what they look like. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're good looking, I think. This purple is really pretty. It's very good. Blue is like nice and multi-hued. Teal, I think? I don't know. It looks pretty blue to me. No, no. There's enough green in there. I thought it was teal. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, I think the like the line between blue and teal is can be very, very tricky. Fair. Yeah. Like sometimes it's, it's pretty it's obvious. It's subjective. Yeah. But sometimes there's like ones that are, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is more green in there, I guess, now that I'm looking for it. I don't know. I don't know what color to call that. I mean, taupe for sure, but... That looks salmon to me. Okay. All yeah, right. Dog salmon. I'd say salmon is pretty fine. Um, I think it's like a, I think it's the the blossoms on a tree. I think the bombax oh, yeah. is a tree. Oh yeah. Yeah. Bombax. I, uh, I haven't tried linen toolbar yet. Oh, it's really good, PB. Also, hey PB, how you doing? Salmon coral. Yeah, somewhere in salmon and mm -hmm. coral. Yeah. Yeah, and then cat general is like a really interesting brownish, like an orangey kind of brown, I guess. Yeah, there's definitely more orange hints in there. Yeah. yeah, I think you can probably see on camera though. It's kind of like a. Actually, let me. That I just was just ma making sure that wasn't throwing me off uh, with having that, but you know what I mean. My yeah, yeah. It, it brings that tone out if you see that color next to it. I think when you took your hand off, this automatically started looking more orange to me. Yeah. So um, you can probably see it's got a little bit of like a silver sheen on that cat mm -hmm. general. That's fun. Especially in the browner parts. Yeah, that's really fun. I kind of can't wait to get that in a pen. So yeah, I got those four, which I'm pretty psyched about. Um, oh, this is unrelated, but we found this during the stream yesterday. I never told you about it. You did not. So I got this pen uh, at Atlanta from Iron Feather, and I think it's gorgeous. Yeah. And then yesterday I was picking out some um, uh, some mystery uh, mystery pack of pen rests. Uh -huh. A couple of people ordered mystery packs. We were oh, doing that online yeah. during the stream. Uh -huh. And I found this one, huh? which like... Wow, look at that. That's a great combo. Right? That looks really good together. Yeah. Yeah. It's similar vein. Yeah. There were actually two of these, and so I sent the other one to oh, the person that nice. ordered. I was like, that's cool. So, how fun is that, right? Yeah. 
So anyway. good job, past us. Yeah, apparently that's a color combo that I'm really yeah. into. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I wonder if you are. I wonder which one of us did. This. I think that's mine. I think it looks that's messier. yours because you often like this. Like oh yeah. He the likes speckles. the one with the speckles in it. Yeah. He generally it's like a gray with like little speckles, like in it. little granite sort of yeah. deal. Yeah. So I got those. Um, Very I nice. also got. They all have fun labels like that, or um, or is the cat one just the fun? I think one? the cat one's the funnest. Yeah. They're all pretty. I'm just they're curious. All good. Yeah. Go ahead and take those out. Yeah. Yeah. They're all. I guess they're, all the labels are a, l a little better than the box art. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are very good. Um, the also uh, linen toolbar makes my favorite grays. If you look, oh, you looking we, for a great gray, look at their atmospheric pens or uh, inks rather, because those atmospheric inks are great, very moody and uh, fun. It says um, magic fortune teller shop. You have unprecedented luck, and with the blessing of fate, all things can finally be completed as hope hoped. Yeah. Fun, huh? And then, yeah, whatever. Uh, I guess that's warnings. I, it's in red, so I don't know. Yeah. It's either warnings. It must or good be luck. serious. It's, yeah, it's. It's hard to tell. They are. They're. Um, these are from Taiwan, I think. Yeah, that sounds so. right. So I got the two Lamy All Stars. So they did two safaris and two All Stars this year, which is uh, pretty cool. I like that. These come with black hardware on them. The finials are a slightly different color than the body colors. These are. Fiery and aquatic. Aquatic? Aquatic and fiery. The fiery one is a color that's hard to pin down. Yeah. Um, I don't know exactly what to call it. I was comparing it in the vid little video to these pens that I just pulled out because I was like, it's not exactly pink. It's definitely not red. And it's certainly not orange. But it's like somewhere in between. So Like a... No, nah, it's not brick. It's a little too yeah, pink. Yeah, it's too pink for, for brick. brick. Is yeah. like is that what mauve is? Or is mauve more, more purple? More purple. I mean, yeah. you can have a, a pinkish leaning mauve, but I still don't think I I think there's too much red for it to be mauve. Yeah. Scarlet runner beans? I don't know, man. You're terracotta? Gonna to... mm, it's a terracotta's little... more orange. Yeah, there's a little more orange. This doesn't have that orange. Yeah. I don't know exactly it's... what color to call this. Yeah. Cer Sunset. Cerise. I don't know what that is, Becky, but that might be it. Mm, it's a little bit. It's a little bit more. A little bit more pink. Look than under that, the maybe. images. Oh. Um, it's it's in there for sure. But a metallic yeah. version, which that silverishness to it throws it. It's true. That's the little, yeah. yeah, it's got that it's metallic. Shiny. Well, it's it's shiny, but it's also kind of like. Kind of matte-ish, you know, like it's not like a like a chrome. It's a sunshine, satiny, but, but also metallic. Satin. That's the that's what I was looking for. Satin. Yeah, so that's the red one. Satin, but metallic as well. Metallic so. satin. Yeah. You know, like those usual satins. Sure. So, dusty rose, kind of like a light a dusty rose. A little bit of a dusty rose. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then this is uh, then kind of like a I don't know, baby blue or an icy sort of blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's a cool color combo. I like it. Is that a slate blue, would you say? Mm, no, it's not dark I enough. I don't think so. And then the sections of these are um, also a really nice. They look like uh, Jolly Ranchers they, or Ring Pops. They look exactly like Ring Pops. Yeah. And also ring Jolly Ranchers. But, but ring more pops Ring are more Pops are more clear. clear yeah. 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 Ring Pop, I think, is yeah. exactly right. <laughs> That's exactly right. Ring Pop. Yep. So, uh, and then this is the one from the gloss yellow. So I'm glad that they're getting into these, uh, like, uh, squishy jelly just, color yeah i'm glad they got these like cool colors and not just gray they were always mm -hmm. just gray before and gray is fine i mean gray goes with everything yeah but also let's get why some not sweet co colors why, well, yeah, why not why not have some coordination here yeah google vibrant blush why did you google that or, or did you know that and that's why as with your color theory that you have dustin in your your everyday job you knew that <laughs> Um, that's pretty close. You know what, Dustin? That, that is, is that middle one is like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's that middle one right here. That, yeah. It's Benjamin Moore's that, vibrant, vibrant that, brush. That's a made up thing, but that's what that looks like. <laughs> nailed it. Now you've 100% nailed it. Good job. Uh, I feel like the All-Stars are better than the Safaris this year. Um, 
Well, you're more of an all-star person. I am more generally. of an all-star person. The only thing about the all-stars is you have to be a little bit more careful with them because they are aluminum and they'll ding. Uh, they can ding. Um, yeah, I think they probably win this year. Uh, although I like the bicolors that they did mm -hmm. on the yeah. um, on the, the pink cliff and the mm -hmm. violet blackberry. Um, I think as a set, these are better. Okay. Because I, I think the violet black violet blackberry, is that what it looked like? Is that what it's called? Anyway, that one was... That one, I think, was a little bit better looking than the Pink Cliff, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I think as I said, I like these I like these two together better. Mm. The other two mm. look cool individually. Mm -hmm. But I think as a set, these are a really good set. I think it should have been Fiery and Icy I, instead I of Fiery like, and Aquatic. That's weird. But I wish that... Maybe it's better in German. Oh, that, that could be. Yeah. I think it would be fun if a, a brand like that that had a, more skews or more skews of a particular type of thing. Yeah. And was also on the cheaper side, like these, could have a collection, like a set, a theme for like a five pen or four like a, pen. Like a sailor style set, but with Lamy. Yeah. Or something like that. Because then you can be like, oh, I can justify all of them where if you like, sure. really like that. And just or just sort give of me like five or six of, thing of these things. You know? Like a spring yeah. set that is just like yeah. a theme. Yeah. Like Pilot does that with like G2s and stuff. Yeah. If they would do that sure. with like, but I don't that, know, Lightives or something, that would be really but cool. But yeah, too. it has to be a cheap thing, yeah. obviously, because, you know. But Inexpensive. Yeah. Less expensive. Less yeah. expensive pens. That are more collectible sort of thing that you're like, you know, that can coordinate on a theme. Just uh, a whole mess of Kavecos. Like, it happens in nail polish, which nail polish prices have gone up, especially if you get fancy things. Mm. Um, like, this one has lots of flakes in it, so it's going to cost more. So, it, theoretically, it could cost, these pens could cost just a bit more per pen. Mm. And so, I could see people doing that and having more mm -hmm. options and things that go together to entice people to get more maybe like if the, they wanted. Maybe like the prefontes, like that kind of sure. like the, the, yeah. mm -hmm. the upscale preppies, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. But not the plaziers. Because that's like, if you do like 25 bucks a piece and you get like five of them, you're getting into like a couple hundred, 150 bucks or something retail. I, Whereas if you do like mm -hmm. the yeah. prefontes, those are like yeah. 10. So yeah. you like 50 bucks, I'd buy, I'd probably do that. I think what I'm really thinking of here is what prep those preppies are. But there's yeah. not as much of a theme. There's more like, I don't know. They I do sets, but it doesn't really seem like a theme. It doesn't really seem like a theme. And also it's just like, not stickers, but like printed on. Yeah. And I would rather have like combos, not the candy, not, not the, not, not yeah. combos. I don't it's like not combos. Candy. It's not candy. Not candy, <laughs> yeah. not the snacks. Yeah. But more color, you know, like having a different this or that that they could put together. Hmm. But anyway, just. That's I think would be fun. Ruth just got a message from a UPS driver asking to contain your pets that you don't have. Never gotten a message like that before. I don't think it's unreasonable. No, I think that's a really nice thing for them oh. to be able to say, like, yeah. hey, you know, could you put your dog away so I can give you your your package? Yeah, yeah that'd be Especially good. if like weird that you don't that you got that and you don't have any yeah. pets though. That is like that in is the way or they're like people will open and dogs will like go in the driveway and stuff. Like, no. Yeah. And you just chuck stuff over the fence and hope for the best, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and then one last thing I got from this, I, I did. That's what everyone wants to see, really. I did kind of get a lot of things at once, um, but yeah, I got the uh, I got the new Kaveco, tried and trusted. It says so. This is the new Kaveco piston filler. I hear that tin in there. Yeah. Oh, that is the. It, it looked like that was like a sticker on it. I didn't realize that was the actual tin. No, it's an actual yeah. tin. Pretty fun. Uh, so I didn't get the whole like gift set thing with the bottle uh -huh, of ink and all yeah. that because I was like I don't yeah. I probably got Kaveco blue somewhere yeah you just have all the Kaveco inks anyway so so I got this cool t I like the tin though this is a good that's a nice sewing kit size for sure or buttons button size yeah you can put so many things in yeah. here this is a good little tin I yeah. think that's cool um, these are as y'all probably know like 165 bucks if you don't get the ink with it. Comes with like a little booklet that is a little bit inscrutable. See, I don't for. I mean, I know this is a piston pen, but I automatically thought that those were cartridges. Oh right. Yeah, yeah just based on. Well, that's on where the cartridges usually, would go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's also got this little hole right here, which I guess is to oh. use it as a. You can use it as a little. 
I just wanted to leave that out Display or if you to, want to use, and they are quick. Yeah, yeah. I guess you could. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's for something else, but mm -hmm. that's the only thing I can think of immediately. So I guess you do that. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a nice little tin. Uh, this pen is very nice, actually. A travel sticker tin. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can hold a pen cleaning refill kit. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. That's um, true. That's kind of what I have uh, with this little, that, yeah. this little uh, Toyo. Or I will have a video eventually. About Trusco. The, the Trusco, because it's exactly the same thing at half mm -hmm. the price. So, like, get yourself a Trusco. Yeah. Um, I should have gotten that instead of this, but I didn't know until it was too late. Yeah. That's kind well, of now you can do a comparison and show both. That's kind of what's in here. Yeah. Is I was recently doing some pen cleaning, so I've got all my little uh, shown design uh, lure cleaners over there, and some syringes, and a random converter, and a, a nib in there that I didn't have a pen to put in. So anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah so here's this pen. It does have the integrated clip. Where did I put my other sport? Um, it is the exact same size uh, as the regular sport. Like, it's yeah. the same. Yeah. Which is kind of neat. Container for Miss Nose's treats. I uh, keep this on lock and lock. So yeah, we have the lock and lock. Um, yeah. So it does have an integrated clip, which is interesting. This is a whole different pen, even though it's like the same size mm -hmm. and dimensions. Let's see it there. Um, it is heavier, of course, because it's aluminum and not, you know, yeah. plastic. But not like crazy different, yeah. Um. But yeah, definitely. like it's not too heavy, yeah. but you can definitely tell it's it's, it's heavy. More substantial, for sure. Yeah. But it's nothing like the brass ones. Which yes, are, yeah, that's true. Um, so you do have a nice uh, nice ink window there, uh, and there is actually a little band on the inside there that mm -hmm. um, is like plasticky or rubbery, like a little mm -hmm. insert, so yeah. that when you post it, it's not going to scratch your barrel up so much. Oh, that's nice. Cause Cause was, that's a thing, especially with that kind of that kind of finish that. Yeah, you just anodized. Think it's just yeah. Great. yeah, I was like, no, this will probably scratch it up. And I was like, wait. And so I just started looking in there, and I'm pretty sure I was poking at that, and it feels. Uh, well, you probably still get that ring different. as it sits on that one spot, potentially. I don't know. Maybe. I think oh. this is probably going to hold it away from the edge, but mm -hmm. like maybe. I mean, maybe, but it's definitely going to help. It's the good. thing about sports is you just kind of get used to that. Sure. Like these are a pocket pen that you yeah. chuck around. So, um, good touch. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, clip in a little hardware ring by the piston is hot. Yeah, it's really, it's a good look. Like, it's a good match. I think it's nice. Mm -hmm. This does not unscrew easily. I, oh, wait. I uh, must have loosened it, it before. Well, I'm like, what are you talking about? This just came. Oh, how about that? Finial. Yeah, what do I see inside there? Interesting. Is there a, now I can see the inside. Let me see if there's actually a cap liner. Hmm. I don't think there's actually a cap liner in here. Oh. Uh -huh. Interesting. I totally thought there was. Huh. Yeah, no cap lighter in here. It does. Um, it does seal up very well though, which is nice. So you'll you'll find out. Yeah, we'll see how it goes when it's inked for a while. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that where it belongs. Break that down. There we go. All right, cool. Interesting. All right. <laughs> Look, I told you I got these twiggly fingers. Uh -huh. I gotta take you things got apart. It. It's what I do. Uh, and people who hand me pens, I think, know that. So <laughs> there have been a couple of things Ian has handed me, like Monarch nibs and stuff. He's like, no, don't take this apart. <laughs> we had somebody so. who had a lot of our pens. Uh -huh. And apparently he had, he is not a twiddler. And he emailed in saying, oh, the top is messed up on my cap. And we're like... Huh, that's weird. And so, so we like sent a new cap route or whatever. And he's he gets and he's like, I found a bunch more that are like this. And the one you sent me is also like this. What's going on? He didn't realize that the finial came off. Like, oh, he, just thought screw it was, in. he thought it was broken. Yeah. He's like, get to screw that down. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So yeah. if you have a FC sitting, which one? Do you have one uh, yeah, I have one here. Yeah. This finial unscrews. So he thought that since that was possible, that it was broken. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I could see how somebody could do that. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, um, so back to this pen that I was talking about. Sorry, but no. Um, <laughs> that, I'm just, it just made me think of that, that, you know, sometimes people don't even realize that uh, it can. I just got a medium on here because this is a little pocket pen. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't want to get like an extra fine or something. I think it goes extra fine through double broad. And most of the time when I'm writing with a pocket pen, I just kind of want a medium sort of thing. Yeah. You know, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go crazy. 
Uh, but yeah, this is a nice little medium. It is a nib unit, so you can unscrew the nib unit. That's nice. Yeah. And swap it it's out. A five nib. Yeah. Also makes it super easy to clean because you can yes. blast the inside of this with a uh, with a syringe. Yep. Uh, to clean it out, which is neat. Yep. Um, so you can buy their uh, their nib units separately, so you can get like every size. So that's not, neat. They're not too expensive. Or anything. No, I think they're like twenty five bucks or something. Yeah. Last time I looked, uh, maybe less. I actually don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember them being much. The top is a blind cap, so like, don't lose this. Yeah. It's not connected to this thing. But I think they definitely didn't want to have that connected because when you put this on here, I notice this because I tend to put it on and then sort of adjust it so it's in the right place. If you do that, it holds on to the end of the yeah. to the end of the pen, yeah. and so you can unscrew that. So if you did that with an actual piston knob, yeah, it would be bad times. Yeah. So I see. Your partner's over listening to talk about pens. Well, don't let them watch this stream. Uh, They'll be real tired of it. Uh, just unscrew the finial on your new pen. Neat. <laughs> now, don't lose it. Yeah. Don't lose it. Don't, don't cross thread it. Be careful putting it back on that you get the threads right. Yeah. Um, and then it's got a little, it's got a little Kamiko finial on the top of the piston knob. That's cute. That's, that's a nice a, little touch. That's a cute yeah. little touch. Like, this has got some classy little yeah. touches. The piston on it feels very nice. And all it's those that kind things, of piston that doesn't move as you unscrew it, you know? They're all in the pricing when we were in the beginning. We're like... That's just too much. And, you know, I mean, there's there's little touches that, you know, yeah. that cost something you didn't realize. Yeah. But there's lots of parts on this pen, well, obviously. Also, uh, listening to, um, oh, shoot, what's his name? I'm going to mess with his name. Gubernay. Goober, 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 Goober I, I cannot remember the guy who runs Twi uh, Kameko oh, now. Yeah. He's saying that while this looks a lot like the rest of the, the sport mm -hmm. line, it is basically entirely different. Like, they kept mm -hmm. running into pieces they had to redo or re-engineer or refigure. Yeah. Um, to make this be a piston pen instead of um, this. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's entirely different parts, it seems like, yeah. except for like the, the yeah, nib unit, the nib essentially. Unit, yeah. Because um, everything else is all different. So, like, this doesn't unscrew. This is all one piece. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, that's not, yeah. Yeah, this is all an entirely different pen. Yeah. So, same profile, but whole different Oh, stuff. we're having pizza tonight. Oh, oh yes. We're having pizza. Um, my parents, I think part of the reason why my parents come to visit, sure, it's to see us, but. Our donut place, our pizza place. They yeah. love the food that we have nearby. So yeah. We're trying to get them to move out here. So we're working on them. So, yeah, this yeah. is um, this is a surprisingly nice little pen. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm very pleasantly surprised. I wasn't going to get it. Y'all heard me complain about it on the stream. And then I was like, fine, I'll get it. And now I'm happy I did. Uh, thanks. Thanks to the people who the patrons and also people who mm -hmm. use the affiliate code. Yeah. yeah, see how you like the feel. I haven't filled it or anything, but. Obviously. The nib feels nice. It's a little like a little smooth. It's very smooth. Well, it is anodized aluminum. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, it's hard to pick up and like. Oh. It's a little back heavy. Mm. You can try it without the cap on it. That's what I'm. I'm just doing it both ways. Well, okay. it's a this way. It's a little smooth and it's back heavy, so it's hard to orient. Yeah, I would use it like this. Yeah. For you, the, that looks this, like it really fits your hand pretty well. Yeah, actually. this fits my hand really well without. But for you, I'm curious how you will like it long term by having it a little bit heavier in the backward. Yeah, in the back. So for me, being a little heavier in the back, it's okay because that just sits right there. See, and so for, just like for my also, hand, it's not perfect. Is all. Yeah, like my thumb is longer, so I tend to hold uh -huh. it like this, and That's, so I got my finger against yeah. like a flat side here, yeah. and I think that might yeah. help with the writing as well. Yeah. So this feels this feels very normal to me, yeah. Um, but yeah, this extra weight is still in the web of my hand, yeah. so it doesn't really. Not as it's terrible. Back heavy it's just on a the little pen. bit. So I'm not saying it's unusable by any means. I've had yeah, ones yeah. that are just like way too heavy. Yeah. This is just a little bit heavier in the back. I won't don't need to have it posted, so I probably wouldn't. <laughs> Big meat mittens, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I think with the size of my hands, this is totally fine posted. Um, just because while it's the back of the pen, it's also not the back of my hand you know mm -hmm. like it's not up here being a big fulcrum pulling it back it's right there mm -hmm. but i think it's gonna be fine i haven't filled it obviously i only got it very recently so someone wants to see it compared to the tiny pen i'll have to go get it oh i mean it's gonna be the same compared to the tiny pen as the other kaveco was I don't <laughs> yeah which is uh, yeah some sort of texture on the section would be nice i think that's true uh you guys also show off your stationaries yeah sure we have um yeah we do that a lot do that a lot. I got a cool stationery actually right here I will show you since she is getting a pen. Here's a really cool stationery for you. This is a seasonal Midori stationery. 
It is alternating sheets of um, watermarked white and then uh, some sort of springtime colors to use in combination. So there you go. There's a little stationery for you while Audrey's grabbing a pen. I was on the verge of, I almost got this stained with that ink that's in here. I think I mostly got it. Oh, it wanted to stain, huh? Yeah. Uh. So I used some of my little nexus or knee something stuff at work and that helped mm. amidex didn't do anything but mm. anyway be careful with that say the blue corn with certain things to that mm. stain this a bit i keep putting stuff in your pens it's staining i don't know how i keep doing that yes there it is travel suites yeah you know it does remind me of something i think of like you know you put a bunch of sewing bobbins in it or something yeah. but yeah sweets make sense too no let's, yeah, is... let's cap it and see Yeah, post that it's still too small. It's <laughs> like, yeah. The thing is, the thing is silly. It was the very nib is sort of similar size, similar, huh? Yeah. Actually, I think the nib but on the is. Lancer might be a little bit bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's both severe. the number five, but yeah. it's a little bit wider than the yeah. Kaveco's. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's a this is a very baby pen for sure. But uh, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised with this Kaveco. I think it's nice. It feels. It feels solid. I do. Uh, I'm with Greg. I think a little bit of texture on the on the section would have been nice. Yeah, it's that a little been, slippy. That would have been good. Yeah, um, a little slippy is what they call me. I guess I tend to put my fingers kind of like on the threads anyway. So maybe that's why it doesn't bother me. Oh, I, really? never, I never thought of it as being. I actually never thought about the regular Kavecos as being slippery either. What do you think about the, the plastic ones? No, this grips to my. It grips better. Yeah, this one grips. My other, the other one, my finger just slips. Mm. It just. This doesn't. It grips onto it. The other one, the mm. anodiz anodization, just my finger just would keep going like this. So mm -hmm. I was trying to, mm -hmm. I couldn't actually get it to go the right orientation for a second. Yeah. Yeah. They said they're going to do a bunch like more colors and all that, like designs and that sort of thing on the mm -hmm. piston. I don't think the piston's going anywhere. Yeah. Like Scott, uh, you start with the, the classic color. Start with the classic black and then get crazy after yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kaveco is known for making all kinds of crazy yep. stuff. Did I get the uh, orange delight? You know what? I haven't gotten it yet. No. No, I'm thinking um, I'm supposed to get one from uh, from Pelican. They haven't sent it out yet, as far as I know. Yeah, because I want one. I know, me too. I'm I'm just hoping that it comes through. Let Nose artisanally nibble the section. If he can artisanally nibble uh, aluminum, that would be impressive. I don't he, think... He does have a big mouth. He does have a big mouth. Lots yeah. of teeth. Uh, I saw Grimsmo, Grimsmo Saga dropped a mini pen. That's going to be silly. <laughs> The Grimsmo pen is already pretty silly. It's cooler than I thought it was, but probably also costs 400 pounds. Well. Smooth metal section is a note. Plastic is never too slippery to use. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, Grimsmo is a, like a very small knife design company that makes a couple of pens. There's a new Mont Blanc out. Cool. Gustave Klimt. And mm. there's a Ritma in Walnut as well. Mm. Those are yeah. other new things. Oh, how about that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's all in the yeah. uh, the drum ghouls email yeah, that Andrew just got. See. Neat. So yeah, that's the that's the story. You want to order some pizza and have your I would parents love. Go get it? All right. To order a pizza. Uh, the, the name is fun. Yeah, Grimsmo is a uh, actually I think it's a it's a guy's name, right? The guy the guy who who uh, designs them. I don't know. Montblanc. Yeah. There's a new. Um, oh dang. Leonardo um, exclusive at Atlas. Oh dang. It's oh. sort of like your... You know what? I have a link to that, actually. Oh. Because that one's... I could see you liking that one as well. I do What like kind that. of pizza? It is going to be our usual Mimi's pizza, our hometown place. But you'll probably get pepperoni and bacon. Probably so, yeah. Yeah. Yes, this that is the... One, yeah. Uh, yeah. I kind of saw this and then I forgot. It sort of reminds me of the bird pen, but not quite. Oh, uh, it's way different from my bird pen. My bird pen's green. There's green in that. I mean, a little bit. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a pretty pen. It's really nice. Does it say who did the acrylic or the Bob Dupre Dupras 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 Dupras? Dupras. Dupras. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. Renown. Renown. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's a good color. Good color scheme. Does it say how many there are? I don't think there's that many. One fifty. 150 of them, limited, expected early May. Yep. Okay. 
Oh yeah, Truffay has twenty uh, percent off all the Yappa brands oh. for sure. They're doing a Truffay in-store extravaganza. Okay. So yeah, check their uh, their site for that. And she's having a mini wiener dog sighting. Oh. Oh. Go get... They're gonna. Well, they'll bring him in here when they leave. So I'm gonna order the pizza and then they'll bring him in here. Oh okay. I'm just gonna order the pizza. And then yell at them to come in here. Do you want me to get you a mini personal ones? Because I have a five dollars off. Oh, sure. I mean, I don't have to use it now, but I've, it is used by a certain time. Sure. I'm not gonna say no to an, an extra pizza to go with my pizza. Is a cat. It's a long cat. Pretty long cat. This Mister knows. How you doing, bud? Is this acceptable? Pretty acceptable. He's like, I don't know. I'd like to move. Okay, there you go. There we go. Um, nice, but not as good. Uh, oh, not as good of a pour as Reggie's royal robes. Can I see? Oh well, your Reebok's royal, royal robes is pretty darn cool. So, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So anyway, that's what I got this weekend. Today, all that stuff came today. <laughs> We're talking to Mr. Nose want. Mr. Nose, um, anything with grease? He likes yes. to lick the, the plate. He does. He's like, hey, get something greasy so I can lick the, the, the grease off the plate. Yeah. So he doesn't really care about the pizza so much. He just no. wants to, to lick, a, lick a plate. He is happy because um, Audrey's birthday was recently, and so uh, Audrey's mom made cake and brought and got ice cream. Yeah. And so we were having some cake and ice cream for lunch earlier, and um, Mr. Snow's got a little bit of ice cream, and he was very happy about that. So, yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> this is a cat, and you can totally do a dance if you want. Yep. This fur. You need to, you need to, to groom yourself, Mr. Snow. Groom Nose. yourself. This little mat of fur. That can't have felt good on you, goose. So, anyway. Anyways, that's what we got going on. Extra calories for nose. Yeah, you can never have too many calories yep. in this nose is what I hear. Yep. He needs all the calories we can cram into him. Oh, uh, another thing I inked up this week, aside from just the uh, Papier Plume ink for Chicago, is uh, I used this Azul Frida in a pen this week. I um, This is one from Amarillo um, Stationery. Yep. I just posted that uh, unboxing and ink swatching and stuff earlier this week. And I wanted to get that in a pen, but I was like, I don't know what to put it in. And I had this um, Kiwi Rainbow in a Bottle in my new Iron Feather pen that I was showing earlier. And I just don't like this ink. It is way too pale. Uh, uh, it was unreadable, unfortunately. Wah, wah. And so I did all the writing and stuff for my ink review uh, and then washed out that ink. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, nope, I want to use this pen. Uh, I don't want to just look this at one. it. This one, yeah. And so I... Uh, any of this stuff I need? No, no, this is cool. Uh, and so, yeah, that's that's what it looks like. It is a really brilliant, uh, slightly slightly violet blue color. So, yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, I like this Azul Frida. I think it's great. Instantly good, great blue ink, for sure. Um, other stuff that is... <laughs> my nose. Other stuff coming soon on the vlog as we were uh, during the live streams on Twitch this week, picking out some new favorites. Mm -hmm. So I have favorites coming in blue, light blue, and dark blue videos I got to nice. make. Yeah. So that'll be fun. 91 degrees out here. You just went for a walk outside and now you're dead. <laughs> but it's a dry heat, Dustin. Yeah, it's a dry it's heat. It's a dry heat. It's a very dry heat. Where's your favorite local Irish bar today and had a yummy carrot cake? Okay, that's fair. Can't buy a scraggle some crust. Support button isn't showing. That's okay, Tracy. You don't have to worry yeah. about it too much. But it's weird that that button doesn't show. I don't know where it would be. Couldn't tell you. Mm -hmm. Oops all blues. Yeah, oops all blues indeed. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Uh, the reason I was picking blues is because I realized at the Atlanta pin show that I had never done that. Somebody asked me, hey, what are your favorite blues? And like, oh, I've got That's a video great. for that. Let me look it up. Oh, wait, what? And I just had never done it. Mm -hmm. I think it's because I was avoiding it because there are so many good blues. There are lots of different types of blues. In fact, my blues and dark blues are top eights and not top tens. Mm. They may also have some special mentions, some uh, honorable mentions, because uh Look, I've got a lot of blues, and uh, it's too hard to pick five. I couldn't do five. It's like, no. Here we go. Here he is. Come here. Oscar. Oscar. No, oh. he's gone. Sorry, Oscar. <laughs> he came in here, and then he bounced. He's not coming back. No. Nope. Nope, he's gone he's forever. Not. Sorry, so, I was in the way. He'll come back eventually. Uh, show one morning, you write with black inks. Oh, goodness. 
Oh, for his, uh, his unfortunate demise due to heat. Dry heat makes you want to dry heave. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you might live in the wrong area then, Dustin. You might live in the wrong area. So. Hi. You enjoying being on the desk? King of the desk area? Senior Nerese? I got this I got this ink for you. Because you're a cat general. What do you think about that? He you know? can't see it, but he was looking at it. He doesn't think much about it. So. You about done there? I'm gonna order pizza, yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> I've been vamping. Look, it takes a long time. It really did. I didn't order, end up ordering that for you just because okay. it was with a coupon. It's a weird. Don't it worry about really, it. Yeah. Fine. Mm. Vert your ears. The pizza's done. Bring us a dog. <laughs> My dad's you can leave her outside. It's fine. Okay. My dad's yelling at, not yelling at Scraggles, but she was outside and he was calling her in, not yelling yeah. at her. We have a, we have a fenced in yard. She can stay out there if she wants. Yeah. I hear him. I hear an Oscar. There's my dad. He says, hi. <laughs> if you're here on Sunday, he will be in the live stream as for yeah. our snacks. You're getting some high Deb and Burls. Oh, oh, that's a Scraggle dog. Oh, hey, Scraggs. You did come in. Oh, look at you. Good job. You, yeah. have, you have grass on you. Oh, good. How did that happen? Yeah. Oh, I hear another little dog out there. Is he coming? Just put Oyster Hour in a pen. Think of me the whole time. Ooh. Nice. I do like that. Oh, there he is. Look at that tiny dog. This cat right here is bigger than your dog. <laughs> That tiny yeah. dog's getting yes. nervous already. Hi, everybody. <laughs> See you, Deb. That's Deb. <laughs> Where are you going? Ah. Where do you think you're doing? Where do you think you're going? He does not want you. He wants her to not leave. Oh, my. <laughs> do you remember last time? What did he do last time? He almost bit your face. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I forget why. I don't remember what I was doing, but something happened that he hey. was just not happy. Hey. Thank you, Nosey. Let's look this way at the people. You are a very squirmy little dog. He's a squirm. A squirmy wormy. You are a squirmy wormy. There. Yeah. That's better. Pizza is in. I just got the email. I was trying to make sure. He's a very wiggly dog, for sure. Oh, Oscar is a scamp. He is scampy. Yeah. He has not hung out with me at all in no, the last like day and no. a half we've been here. He's like, or they've been here. He's like, mm, nah. I don't need to hang not out. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me. He likes me just fine. Yeah. He'll he'll come and sit with me eventually. But. Squirmy. Wormy. Oh, it's Nose's shoulder. Oh, the shoulder that he's on? Mm. Yes, that's true. Nose doesn't mind sharing, oh. though. He and Oscar okay. uh, curled up next to each other for a nap yesterday. So, um, And also, Katie was curled up next to Oscar as well last night. Oscar's been making friends with the cats. Yeah, he, he loves Katie. Yeah, he likes cats, and he loves Katie. Nose is a peach. He is. He's not a cat, he's a peach. Yeah, it was something about a snack that had to do... It was, there was definitely snacks going on. Oh, oh, and he swallowed that entire bone. Or put the whole bone in his mouth the or something. The whole dental bone. Yeah. Or whatever that was. Yeah. And it was like that long and we thought he was going to die because my cat was... half as big as him. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar is the smallest animal in oh, this yeah. house. He, yeah. yeah, he's the smallest animal in the house by a fair margin. Yeah. Unless there's a mouse somewhere, and I bet there isn't. Here's here's a nose size. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> much, much bigger. Oh, why don't you sit on my chest? <laughs> oh, your shirt's too slippery. He doesn't like a slippery shirt. He left. He wouldn't sit on my chest when it was a slippery shirt either, so. Had a black and tan dachshund in a five when he was ten when you adopted him. His name was Turbo. Oh, that's Turbo. nice. That's nice. I think they left a phone here and it's uh Alarm is blowing oh, up. No. So we're going to deal with this little dog here. that out of the way. And we're going <laughs> to turn off the yes. alarm. I'm going to go turn the alarm off. Are you coming back? Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Old people with their alarm yeah. that make noise. I can see why this, uh, why you would have a small a black and tan a mini dachshund named Turbo. Because he is pretty fast. There is much scampering with this dog. He's got places to be. Quickly. He's pretty chill. He's got um, some uh, separation anxiety is his thing. So when Dev and Burl leave, he gets a little freaked out. But he's usually pretty good when he sits with us. What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm way bigger than you, pal. You're not getting away. 
you're not getting away. I know you think you are, but you're not going to get away. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to enjoy pizza tonight for sure. You a scratching post shirt? Yeah, right. Hi, where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? Everybody's looking at that hallway. <laughs> Hi, Scrags. Hi, Scrags. The Scraggles. All right, folks. Yeah, very aerodynamic for sure. All right, folks, we're going to take off. Thanks very much for joining us today. Yes. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Hope you saw a thing or two that was fun or interesting. Uh, hey, hey. He just wants to go to the door. <laughs> he really does. He's like a he's like a little fish. You're like a, you're like a little fish. You trying to swim? Like that, yeah. He really thinks this is going to work. Where do you think you're going? Have you seen the size of my beef mitts here? You're not getting away. So I was like, why is he acting like that? <laughs> right. What What is going on here? Um, you had 30 pounds and you got him? Oh, man. No, this is not a 30-pound dog. No. This is like an 8-pound eight dog. 8-pound dog, yeah. Maybe. I mean, yeah, yeah, probably-ish. All right, so that's it. We're going to take. We're gonna get out of here. We'll see you again yeah. on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. 3. 3. 3 p.m. <laughs> kind of did it. We, um, I don't know what you're doing. You're like this. <laughs> okay, it's also pretty good. Anyway, um, so we'll do that at 3 p.m. We'll have Devin Burl here. We have uh, snacks from the Baltic States. Also, we have uh, some fun Japanese stuff on a stick. Yeah, we do. So we'll we found out what the Baltic States were, too. Yeah, so Cheerio Water Bus, Barahe, Trust a Buy Valve. Think about what you put out in the world, make it a better place. Bye, everybody. Don't trust a Buy Valve. There you go. You got in there. Bye, bye. 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 Oh. Oh.